three females who were in the program doing my hacks for just a month got their period back and were able to get pregnant in that month just with my hacks. I see PCOS reversal all the time. So these hacks mm. that you, you say those three women use to help reverse the, their PCOS symptoms, mm. what are the hacks? Oh, the hacks. What are the, the ones that they did? So the ones they did were savory breakfast, vinegar once a day, veggie starters, and moving after eating. And these are four hacks that are the four most important ones of my 10 hacks that I've put together in the four-week method, that second book. And if you do these hacks, you don't actually have to change anything else that you're eating. You don't have to cut out anything. You just add these in. I like to see them like um, little fairy godmothers that you have in your pocket and you just put throughout your day like this. And you're able to reduce your glucose spikes while still eating what you love in a very low effort kind of way. And I believe these hacks should be seen like you would see brush your teeth, wear sunscreen, drink enough water, have a savory breakfast, move after eating. Have a savory breakfast. So... Are you saying people shouldn't be eating sugar for breakfast? Correct. So the concept of a savory breakfast comes from the simple realization that if you have a breakfast that creates a big glucose spike, you're affecting your body in many bad ways. First of all, you're leading to your brain not functioning too well during that day. It's leading to brain fog. It can make you a bit confused. Second, it makes you tired. It increases cravings throughout the day, and it also deregulates your glucose levels for the rest of the day. Your breakfast is very powerful. If you have a glucose spike at breakfast, your whole day is a glucose roller coaster. So what you want to do, Stephen, is always have a savory breakfast that keeps your glucose levels steady. A savory breakfast is what? It's based around protein. Eggs, uh, fish, meat, uh, tofu, nuts, dairy, protein powder, dinner leftovers, okay? Protein. It's really important to have protein in the morning. Then you add some healthy fats, olive oil, butter, avocado. And then if you want for taste, you can add a bit of starch, like a piece of bread, for example, or some potatoes. Importantly, a savory breakfast contains nothing sweet. No cereal, no muffins, no orange juice, no granola, no uh, fruit puree, none of that. It's really key. Sugar in my coffee? No. No, no, no. If you want sugar, have it as dessert after a meal, after lunch or after dinner. Because after your lunch and after your dinner, you have lots of food already in the digestive system. So any sugar you put in afterwards is going to impact your glucose levels less. 